Now for Denny Hamlin, he wasn't sure if it was a loose wheel or possibly the tire going down. He told his guys to get ready. He said the car is too free at the beginning of a run to hustle, but then it comes in nicely. And we have a huge fire on the pit lane. It looks like it's right down around and the Eric McClure We got a pit guy area. on fire too behind the wall. Oh my goodness, a scary situation on pit road here at Richmond. Safety workers were quickly there to extinguish the fire. That's Brendan Gaughan's pit. I saw Eric McClure's. Couldn't see who was on fire because of all the flames and smoke. Wow. Wow, look at the fuel, man. We haven't seen a fire like that in a long time. And Hope kudos okay. to the safety workers who were right there on the spot to extinguish it. Matt, Kevin Harvick needs forward fight. They changed four tires, reducing the air pressure. Fire in the back of the 29. He leaves the pits and gets out of here. Now that's a burnout. Fuel can. But the fuel can, it, the guy threw the can down and it's on fire. Got the headers coming out, or the, the pipes coming out the side where they put the gas. Look at that, he must have spilled some gas when, they, yeah. when the can disconnected from the car. Right. And my guess is, my guess is that the guy changing, putting on the lug nuts on the right rear, he, there was a spark. When the impact, when the socket touched the nut, there was a spark that set that fire off, I would guess. Fire on pit road, Dale Earnhardt Jr.'s pit. I think it's just a little bit of fuel. It ought to go out. Yeah, it should go out. I'm going to see a little. There you go. Whoa. When he pulled that can off. Man. He's coming there. 4100 right here. 4100. Then he almost gets in this Brian, Brian Scott right there. And then it blows out. Yeah, no, I think we felt pretty confident. What a curious to see what really ignited it there. Obviously something hot that fuel <laughs> spilled out. Welcome back to Atlanta Motor Speedway. I'm Bob Jenkins along with Benny Parsons, Ray Evernham, Jerry Punch, John Kernan, and Bill Weber. And we are nearing the closing laps of this race, 265 out of 325 completed. And moments ago, more problems on pit road. Big fire. We see all the cars that are lapped down making a pit stop at the very top. See the smoke going up? I think that was the 60 car, the Power Team Chevrolet's gas can. And Bobby Hamilton leaves to the fire and leaves so quickly, believe it or not, he leaves with a catch can in his car. Look, watch as he drives through that fire with the catch can intact as the safety crews quickly, quickly go to put, extinguish the fire. They're still changing the left, watch those guys still change the left sides. Reed Sorensen has had a problem. He almost came to a halt, yeah, but could not make the entrance to pit road. Caution. Yellow he's got down, a, yellow he's down, got yellow a right down, front tire down, down uh, Mike. You can see when he went by. Reed Sorensen's car came to a halt on pit road, and Eric Ludwig, a crewman from Casey Kane, comes running right in, gets the window net down with the help of the NASCAR official, and lifts Sorensen out of the car and a safety at a boy. Big fire in the Big house. fire in the pits. Steve Burns is there. Well, guys, we were in Rusty Wallace's pits, and we looked at as Frank Kenton was pitting. Can't see if any crewmen have been hurt. Now a lot of other teams rushing in, trying to move gas cans out of the way. Lots of smoke now. They're trying to get the fire out. But a big fire in Matt Kenton's pit. I don't know if we have the actual beginning of the fire, but there you see it is already underway. It spreads very, very quickly, and you see the firemen right in the middle of it, wading right in. And you see the heat just repelling that one firefighter as it then spreads towards the 97 pit of Kurt Busch. Timmy Hill in the 66, you see the flames rolling from underneath that car. From DW throwback paint scheme as Timmy Hill jumps out of that car and the fire extinguishers will go to... Yeah, that's right on pit uh, entry. got out, okay. Yeah, it's going to force a yellow. You, you can't have a car sitting on pit road entry. That thing's not going to move. There, huh? Wow, wow. Burst into flames as he was coming down the back stretch. Yeah, some liquid coming out of the, the bottom of the car there. Some kind of oil line or something. I guess, Steve, that...
Now we're wrapping up caution for this scary moment just uh, just moments ago with Paul Menard's car on fire and watch. The tire on the car explodes with that uh, fire burning around it. Everyone okay, driver and all crew members. And we're set for the restart that's going to come with 28 laps to go. Because he's still struggling to get the handling on the 78 car. He said he was loose getting into the corner, but then tight on load up. They're going to take more Packer out of the front of this car. Martin said he could drive it at about 98% and get a decent lap. You see it's going to be four fresh your tires on. You see the flames go up there as they were refusing, fueling the car. And those flames continue to burn as the 78 drives off. Caution has come out from New Hampshire Motor Speedway for the second time. Three on the racetrack and the flames rolling out from the right side of the seven of Alex Bowman. You know, we've seen this before at the short tracks. The seven had an issue with the right front tire. It looked like he melted the beat, came down Pet Road, got a new tire on it, but didn't clear all the old rubber, I'm assuming. Out off. Well, no, I disagree. It's not out. It's yeah, not we're going to disagree. It is not out, and the driver's climbing out of the car. That's Alex Bowman jumping out of there. I think he was telling him to get out. Cars are really, really slip, slipping. Oh, slip. here we go. See my toy up there. There goes oh. Denny Hamlin down on the apron, into the grass. Big damage for the 11. Caution is out for the eighth time today. Oh. And I was just going to get ready to say, these cars are really slipping and sliding on, on new tires. They go down in the corner and go straight up the racetrack. It just, just looks like a slide job. Yes. on top of it. It's incredible. He was running in the 14th position when he got sideways off the corner. Hamlin has won the last two races here in June, and that thing's on fire. Yeah, he's going to probably want to get out of that pretty quick. I'd say real quick. There's a great onboard shot. Find the, find the fireman. 